Welcome back, everyone, to the Victory of the Duel Monarchy Mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. Or oh, yeah, Mocha Lover. And right now, we have finished off some more focuses. We've created the Volks Junta. Now, we could eliminate the opposition, but 30% of combined democratic and authoritarian support will be applied as a stability penalty if we choose this. And because the Volks Junta gives us more daily national populism support, we're going to wait to eliminate the opposition. It would be probably good to rally the nation, but I do want to reform the Zola Verein. So, the Zolverein was basically put on hold for the last couple of years since our focus was on the military. This, of course, also made some impact on our economy to strengthen the economic sphere. The Zolverein needs to be reformed, which would be good and help out our allies, Poland, Flander, and Valonin, uh, Valonin uh, United Baltic Duchy, and probably one more, which... Be White Russia? White Russia, Belarus, Belarus, which I like to call Belarus because I'm an American, but whatever. Cool. And currently we have sent volunteers to the Ottomans, but we do have a few comments to go through, like always, which is always a good thing. Oh, wow, look at this. Not very good. We need more fuel, too. So, first of all, uh, I asked, like, yesterday, like, how do I pronounce certain things, like, in German? Because right? sometimes I forget, and sometimes I, you, you just don't learn everything you want to learn in school. So, someone said, to say, thank God. Gott sei Dank. It's not dank. I'm pretty sure it's not dank. Gott sei Dank. And it was, praise the Lord, or praise God, preiset den Herrn. Which, which, someone said that you say that outside of church, so... But I said Den Herren. I'm probably not going to remember that, but hopefully I will. Hopefully. Actually, Poland deserves that? No. They don't deserve that. Cool. Uh, what are we going to research next? More fuel. Yep. Absolutely more fuel. Yeah, keep looking at... Oh, no. We actually have two ships here. One. Oh. There you go. Um, Dreadnoughts. There you go. Do that one, too. Thank you. We got enough res... Oh, do we actually have enough resources? Except for one thing in Tungsten, which is totally fine. Yeah, just kind of hang out here, guys. Um, you're just here to just kind of get XP and such. So, yeah. Uh, no, you don't need to move like that. No, no, there you go. Cool. Let's head on over. It shouldn't take too long to get over there. So, let's see. Is our focus tree similar to the one in Kaiserreich? Someone did ask that yesterday. Uh, yes, I would assume that this part of this is actually very familiar or similar to Kaiserreich. Um, it is what it is, so it's not bad. Kaiserreich has a fairly okay, you know, German Empire focus tree. So, it is what it is. Three-year build-up plan. I don't mind doing that. But after this one, Rally the Nation would be... Bad. What do we? Uh, rubber, rubber plantations, Paolo, Bausic, Bausite deposits. Cool. Ex expand the Zolverein, which might not be bad. Develop our colonial empire. I kind of like that. Give every country within our faction the Zolverein national spirit. We lose consumer goods to get more stability, construction speed, and resources to market, which would not be bad. One currency in the Zolverein. We lose political power to get more consumer goods and stability. That's not bad either. Hmm. It only takes 42 days. I do want to do modern electronics just so we can get the radio detection done. After the Valkyrie, the enemy of the Kaiserreich are starting to get back on their feet. We need to start using modern electronics to enhance our efficiency and encryption. Very cool. Okay, guys, please don't attack if you don't have to. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Improved infantry equipment. Nice. Very nice. We do have five research slots, so that's actually pretty darn decent for us. We're doing our naval stuff pretty darn efficiently as well. Magnetic detonators would be really beneficial for our subs. I mean, our subs aren't that great, but still. Ah, oh, good. Get involved. Oh, they can pierce us. Well, that's not good. Oh, we definitely need more manpower next, too. Holy crap. Yeah, we definitely need more manpower. And led by a certain Oscar guy. Actually, why is this so little? Oh, it's probably because Victors of the Valkyrie hurts us. Yeah, I only get 1. what percent? 1.3 percent? That's not good. Deutsche Middle Africa requests arms to counter local tribe and resistance. Our massive and important colony in Africa has requested arms from us to help them in the battle against resistance from the local tribes. These local tribes are a serious danger for the colony and thus are for our empire. Should we send some weapons to Deutsche Middle Africa or not? Of course. It's only 200 guns? Dude, like, bruh. Here's some more. Alright, so we got... Oh, we have this stuff done, too. Um, Dreadnoughts, carriers, dreadnought. Improved cruisers would be quite beneficial. We, oh, yeah, yeah, you must have thrown sonars on there, right? Level 2. Uh, level 2. And there's not much else we can change for this one, which is okay. Let's grab some of that. Level 2. Torpedoes. I don't want to use torpedoes too much on these guys. Airplane here would be nice, actually. Yeah, we're not going to use torpedoes. We're going to use some anti-sub stuff. Because I want to avoid enemy subs. Because I always think you should have... Almost always, at least one thing of anti-sub stuff on your light cruisers if you're not using destroyers. Now, right now, we're not making any destroyers. So, that's why I do it like that. Other comments. Let's see. Where did I put my thing? Let's see. Yeah. When am I going to play as a Soviets? Trial Kaiser Redux? Trial Kaiser X? I'm, at the time of this recording, I've not played Kaiser X in a very, very long time, actually. So, yeah, eventually. I, I want to go back to Kaiser X. I already have an idea who I'm going to play as. So, eventually. I promise that eventually. Uh, Naval Doctrine. Ooh, do we have any carriers? 
We do have seven carriers, so we'll probably go the carrier route for this one. Base strike, nice. Because that'll definitely come in handy. Uh, air Doctrine actually might be pretty beneficial as well. It's only 38. Anti-tank, I don't feel like doing anti-tank in this campaign, probably. Um, paratroopers are okay. I mean, that's a little bit too early for us to do anything else. And do we have CAS or do we have Tactical Bombers? We're using CAS. Flying Formation. I never do Strategic Destruction. Maybe whenever it plays America again, maybe we'll do that one. Oh, we actually, we're defeated. Oh, that's not good. Huh. Nice. Yeah, that's... That's a massive task force, which actually, I could break that up. Um, let's see. That's not bad either. Actually, ha by having this Dreadnought in here, it really slows down our fleet. So, these battle cruisers are also 27. Actually, I'm going to put you over here then. There you go. That's why the speed of this group is actually a little bit faster, which I kind of like. So. You only have, s oh, you're, nothing but, oh, uh, hmm. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe we can help them out. Maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, they're attacking us again. Good. Get that army XP or air XP, really. Uh, they're holding. For, well, they're kind of slightly holding. Modern electronics. Rally the nation, because we can use more stability. Various festivals all across Germany has been celebrated since our victory in the elections. This is a way of rallying the people to our cause. We must ensure the continued growing of our people's happiness so we can manipulate them. <laughs> I love manipulating the people. Working conditions might not be bad. Rubber and that stuff's okay. I'm going to raise the conscription level. Oh, we can't. Crud. Well, technically, we need more war support. Less manpower than a thousand. Okay. Wow, they're really beating us up quite a bit. Yeah, we definitely need more light tanks. Where are our light tanks here? Yeah, we're making low less than two a day. That's not good. Yeah, holy crap. This guy's good, good, potentially encircled, which would not be very good. And, are we in there? Come on. Nope. That's fine. If you lose a lot of so be it. Alright, we still have three divisions here, so that's not too bad. There you go. Something like that. Mexican Junta was eliminated. That is fine. Oh, yep. Not bad. And, work on meat? No. We can't even go to there. That sucks. Oh, we need to raise the world tension somehow, some way. Oh, uh, Captain of Industry, we're going to do that one, though, just because. We continue building ourselves up. Wow, we're really building up a lot of civvies around here. Not bad. Not bad. Fourth International, very cool, very, very cool. Guys of Helm Classa. I could have out China right now, but I don't feel like it. I usually... Oh, hold on. Wow. Okay. At this point, just retreat. Yeah, saying tanks down here is not a great idea. Because of all the hills and mountains, but still. Good, you got out. But defending in hills and mountains should be too bad, but we're out of manpower. Gosh darn it. Oof. After the rally of the nation, though, that should help us out. Puppet the Kaiser. Well, actually, there's a lot of comments for us to go with the reinforced Kaiser's power anyway, so. Fully independent, get more. Just by Oracle Sentence goes down. More war support, more stability. Cool. The Kaiser's leadership throughout his reign has been unquestionably excellent. His command in the Bell Creek in the years following it is a proof of that excellency. The title of German Kaiser must have a bigger role in the government. Awesome. And look at that stability. Nice. Oh, okay. we have to eliminate opposition. So we'll do this one eventually. Uh, let's see. Do we need more manpower anywhere? Economic boom would be really kind of nice. But that only lasts for a year. So actually, honestly, we could probably wait for that. Artillery. Eh. Military restructuring would be good to do that one. Military armament would be good to do as well. 28 days. I kind of want to see what else we can do down here, though. The Zolverein. Oh, uh, yeah. Not bad. More construction speed. One currency. Let's do that one. The current members of the Zolverein all have different currencies. This makes the trade between them more difficult. And since more than half the members are economically dependent on us, a single currency would make cooperation much, much easier. Wow, you guys are actually losing here, huh? Bro, that sucks. Um, von Manstein, you're learning a lot. He's not even a panzer leader yet, huh? All right, all right. Let's see. Can we, if they're going to get pierced anyways, can we make these guys a little bit thicker? Probably. There you go. That's a little better. We have no manpower for it, but that sucks. And we actually have enough divisions for this, so give me half of you guys. Cool. And we'll put you with Eberhard von Mackensen. 
and Edward Dietl. There you go. Nice. I'll do the same thing with these guys as well. Put you in half. And you'll be led by Eck Hopner. Put you guys in half. And you'll be led by Paulus. There you go. Not bad. We want to cut them down for now. We can save a little bit of manpower. Just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. We should be able to defend the river here, right? Right. I do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm during these trying, trying times. It's almost 1939, so we better stay ready for any sort of war that could happen to us over here. Now the, now the French, they definitely put a lot of bodies around here. Hopefully we have enough forts around here. Level 3, and that's mountains, so... We'll see what happens. I'm not too worried about the Belgian front. Or, not the Belgian. Belgians are disgusting, but you know who's really cool? The Flandern Wallonian front. Now that's cool stuff. Belgian, kind of cringe, man. Other fronts, kind of nice. Go we'll expand the mines. Ooh, actually we could use some resources, even though we have no fuel. And we could use tungsten and chromium immediately. That's not bad. But the following effects depends on the company that has been chosen in the industrial branch of the focus tree. Ooh. Cool, we get more political power, and which means we lose a lot more political power. Wow, that's a lot less. And recruitable population, we get more construction speed for a year. Let's expand the mines, that's pretty good. Resources are the key to both military and export power. Expanding our mines will empower the German war machine even more, which is really, really important for right now, because we're missing a lot of chromium, as well as tungsten. Not bad, not bad. And we have 27% war support. Great, 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 great. Partial mobilization immediately. Build, 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 build. Because we, this is a big old industrial base we've built up so far, so that's really nice. My goodness, though, we need some more military factories badly. So, well, let's get one line done, maybe. Uh, Magnetic detonator, great. I'll do eighty. I'll do two at a time. There we go. We're still building a bunch of cities, so it's almost thirty now. Let's grab some dispersed output. I like that one. We are finding this guy has more construction speed, so we can do some more extraction. <clears throat> Uh, don't worry about attacking, guys. Seriously, just do not worry about attacking. Just defend. That's all I want you to do, Von Munstein. Learn, defend. You're, an or you're learning how to become an organizer, a mountaineer, a commando, all those good stuffs. <clears throat> I can't imagine this is a very peaceful war. Like, there's a lot of blood that's being spilled here. That's the only war going on. That's a lot of dead. That's a lot. They're about equal. Roughly equal. Even though the Ottomans have lost more, surprisingly. Then again, it doesn't tally up for all the resistance here in Iraq, so. I remember in the olden days, I got criticized for saying Iraq. Because I'm, I'm a simple American. I know it's Iraq. I know it's Iraq, but still. Ah, the olden days of when I was playing Hearts of Iron 4. And I mispronounce words all the time, which I still do. <laughs> ah, motorized, light tanks. What else is new? We got actually a lot of guns. We got quite a few guns. Uh, there you go. We got a, Oh, actually, I could save some manpower if we did this too. Uh, infantry divisions. What would happen if we did this? We would actually have enough. Barely enough, but that does hurt our HP a little bit, organization, but that does help our soft attack by 20, so we got 15,000 manpower because of that. Beautiful. Alright, so we did that. I don't want to learn, eliminate the opposition. It still hurts its stability. Is it still going up at all? It is, but just barely. Pop the Kaiser. I would like to reinforce the Kaiser stuff. National populism. That extra stuff would not be bad, but really, it's not super, super important. We can kind of wait to do this. Unless there's a coup chance, which I doubt there is, but... At least 50 months of oil from foreign countries. Wait, 50 months? Oh. Huh, I'm glad I looked at that. Oil rights in Romania. Secure the oil, the Persian oil fields. Okay. Interesting. I want to get through that focus, then, maybe. Let's buy a crap ton of oil, because we can afford it. I love America. It said 50, right? So, that's a good number. Address our oil shortage. In these modern times, oil is disputed by all the powers great enough to produce mechanized and modern equipment. Lately, Germany has been having some problems with these resources. We must address this problem as quickly as possible. Very good. I love America. Look at that. We've got good amount of tungsten. We've got even a little bit more chromium as well. There goes the manpower. Oh, we probably should do limit exports when we can. But that wasn't too bad. By reducing a huge amount of artillery that we had, unfortunately. Uh, that wasn't too bad. And that actually helped us out probably a little bit more than I really hoped. Um, can I duplicate you guys? That'd be kind of nice. Uh, do we have any extra spare planes? We don't have actually have that many planes, do we? Oh, that's not good for the war. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, maybe we should get some anti- Oh, we have no manpower. God dang it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't like this oil shortage. Oh, do I have to request arms to counter local traps? Oh, sure, that's fine. We got enough. We got 200. That's not bad. Let's ban the Zilverine. I kind of want to do this just so we can strengthen our grip on our allies. So we'll do this one. Initially, we created the Zolverine to exploit our puppets and profit from the conquered territories in Russia. The next step is to invite more members and to transform the system into a cooperation between the members, but, not, but always with their supervision, of course. Developer colonies, infrastructure, industry resources. Every country within the... Everyone gets a Zolverine uh, national spear. And the Zolverine is where? Oh, here it is. Eh, it's definitely a mixed bag, I'll say. Definitely a mixed bag. War economy, more than 50% war support. That's fine. Ah, yes. Yeah, let's do this one. I'm still building up civvies, so it's fine. Oh, this is there was someone I wanted to get really badly, but I can't remember now at this point. Uh, you are doing what? There you go. Just hang out and hold. That's all I ask you to do. Um, at this point, maybe grab some more. Actually, we got enough fuel for now, but it's not going to last forever. With yeah, it's definitely not going to last forever. Keep building the stuff up. That's good. <clears throat> we're going to need way more tanks, way more artillery pieces. Where we're headed, so. Oh, we actually got some anti-air. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Very nice. Any more ships? Yes, we do. And we have our subs training as well. Until they're all done, so. Not bad. A lot of subs will help out. Be very, very nice. And they're attacking again. Thank you. Uh, let's see. He's an engineer. That's kind of cool. He's an engineer, actually. Huh. We're going to be a panzer leader. And expand the Zolverein. Next up, I would like to get through this some of this stuff over here. So we can do the military stuff, get rid of the victor's stuff. Ooh, Aji Fobin would not be bad either. Ooh, get synthetic refinery too, but we can probably wait. So, military restructuring. Our victory in the Valkyrie came at an immense cost of human lives. Our military has yet to recover from this loss, and is therefore in desperate need of restructuring. Cool. We're still part of the Berlin Pact. Yeah, once we hit a two-front war, that's not going to be very good for us now, is it? Nope. I don't like how you tell it to just continuously train until all soldiers are ready to go. But then it just it just stops. Oh, holy crap. Build oil drills in Kuwait. Oh, wait. Do we own Kuwait? Oh, we own Kuwait. Look at that. Rail yards in Poland. Well, that might not be bad. Modernize the Baltic roads. That actually would not be bad either. Expand Baltic civil industry. African stuffs. Well, we're going to expand places closer to us and our... Oh, you know. Places closer to us here first. Actually, we could have gotten... Uh, IG Fobin, but yeah, we already did that one, which is actually really, 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 really good. Ooh, military factory construction speed. I deal with Malza, Rhine Metal. Actually, do we have anyone here for. Yes, Shona. I'm, I gotta get Shona, but we can help out one person. We wanna help out whoever's closest to us first. Belgian civilian industry. Um, I kinda don't mind helping out the Poles. That's a weird thing for me to say, but. There's some industry. We'll help you out with that. Why not? And then we'll grab the stuff for infantry, because that, that's going to be our bread and butter holding against the dastardly French Arenos. So. Hopefully they don't go to war with us too early, but you never know. Guderin's plan? Ooh, yes. Just press industry. Good. More fuel. Uh, actually, since we're okay on fuel for now, advanced machine tools. And now extraction as well. Anything else here? Ooh. Nice. And make sure we always have at least two going on military factories for now, because we definitely, definitely, definitely need them. Good. Anything else for research? No? Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, traditional army tactics would be nice. I like that. And this one, too. But we gotta go Guderian's plan just because we're going for more warfare anyways. Hans Guderian and other officers believe the new way of warfare is by mobility and speed combined with aircraft. This is a completely new tactic for armies, which they need time to adapt to. Which makes sense. Oh, there goes Albania. I'm not interested in that. Sorry. I'm more concerned with how the Turks are doing. Or the Ottomans. Not bad. Man, I love these short focuses. Oh, they just... Pe okay. Good job, guys. You know, of course, in that. That sucks. Twenty-five percent world tension. Not bad. Uh, anything else down here? No, not really. No. Are you training or? Yeah, you should be training. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Twenty guys. It's not enough. Uh, ship wise, we have enough fuel for now. So those guys are done training. How do you guys train? We're gonna run out of fuel very quickly. 
very, very quickly. Look at that current fuel usage. Uh, just dropping. Just dropping like crazy. Wow. We'll be out of fuel within a month, basically. Which is not very good, but whatever. <clears throat> Alright, the next focus we shall choose. Oh, we got some more tanks here. It looks like maybe. Yeah, I definitely want to get military armament, mechanized models. We'll do this one. Panzer Breakthrough. A key part of Guderian's fast and mobile warfare are armored vehicles. The current Panzers, however, not designed for this kind of warfare. We therefore need to develop armored vehicles that do, in fact, fit in with mobile warfare, which is a very good thing to do. Well, we're still hanging out here in the good old Middle East. Not much is really going on. We got quite a bit of political power, though. We just finished base strike as well, and we can continue to, to invest in our... <clears throat> maybe not subjects would be the right term, but... Uh, Members of the Zolverein, shall we? We're still doing Panzer Breakthrough right now. Let's see. Actually, for us, we are in the Berlin Pact, of course. I'd like to have the Netherlands under us, but that's probably going to have to wait. Let's see. Zolverein, they lost their political power. Got more stability, construction speed, and factory output. Very cool. And anything else here? I did spend quite a bit of army XP off-screen, though, in which uh, we have some anti-air companies, as well as artillery for our normal divisions. Tanks got some anti-air as well. Let's see. Actually, we could probably boost you guys up with even more armor. That'd be really nice, actually. Let's see, garrisons. Oh, Marines, which I'm not going to convert the single Marine division that we have. But I made them a little bigger. And then gave them some more support companies as well. Because I think we could all use a little bit of support in our lives, can't we? <clears throat> Fly formation. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Because we have Army Air XP, I should really say. And pads of breakthrough. Mechanized Army. Why not? Or Mechanize the Army. Our armed forces are still heavy... Reliant, or reliant on horses. By mechanizing the army, we can deliver more supplies to the front lines. And, of course, faster. Cool. So we're going to go, 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 and, oh boy, that does not look, wow. That's a lot of divisions. That's a lot more divisions than I thought we would have. Take all six frame back, huh? Um, well, I mean, if they do that, I mean, we got to grab, well, more manpower, but we got to grab infantry. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad I put on a lot of uh, anti-air. That's, uh, sure, you can have that. Some anti-air, which actually does help you with slightly more defense and attack, soft attack. And helps with their Air Force, which will have a superior Air Force right now. <clears throat> but I'm glad I threw on the artillery as well. Because it gives you a little, a little more a little, bit, a little more defense. And some more soft attack, which will be very, 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 very good. I'm just a little worried about the line over here. Because that's a lot of divisions. And only four divisions up there too, which is not very good. Of course, the soldiers will come back from the Ottoman Empire, but still. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Advanced machine tools, good. So we got all that stuff done. Let's probably grab some Selps, Lad, Gewehr, Gewehr, not Gewehr, Gewehr, Wiesisch, yeah, Wiesisch. Uh, some more fuel, shall we? Absolutely. Positively. And we need more military factories. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 80. There we go. Get three now. As much as I love to build ourselves up. Uh, let's stop training as well. You guys have trained pretty well so far. And you guys, another carrier group like that, not bad. Go home, go home, go home. And get as much fuel as we could possibly get right now. Look at that. Fuel stockpiling. Nice. Very nice, actually. Because we're not going to be able to trade with America once we start rolling here. So, And the Ottomans, I think they're just a lost cause at this point. I mean, I wasn't expecting expecting them to win, even if we helped them out, but still. <clears throat> nice. Better cannons. Cool. Let's grab some of this as well, because this will help out. Anti-air. Very, very good. Uh, we do have 1,400 pieces, so that's not too bad. With our infantry, though, can we convert one of these guys over to infantry again to make 7-2? Yes. And we just saved maybe a little bit of manpower? Maybe not? Probably not, actually. Oof. Yeah, that's not going to be good for the center part of the line. I might abandon portions of the line here, just in case, maybe. We'll see what happens, though. We do need to go to war economy, limited exports, but... once As soon as they go to war with us, we're going to extensive conscription, if we can. <clears throat> there we go. We gotta go. Alright, so it went to war with us. We mechanized the army. I would still like rearmament for this. Could get a double bonus <coughs> for land doctrine, as well as remove the victors of the Valkyrie. Our military has been devastated by our victory in the Valkyrie, and we've not really recovered from it. But now is the time to rearm our military to prepare for the inevitable conflict that is on the rise in Europe. And. Uh oh. Uh, they're still just fine. Sure, guys. Deutsche Mill Africa, United Baltic Duchy. And here they go. Um, actually, yes. Ooh, that's fine. I, I was thinking about not uh, bringing them in just because... Oh, see, this is exactly why I should not have brought them in. They wanted to fight them. Which I don't necessarily agree with, that they should do that. Just defend. So, 
alliance with Bulgaria, apparently. It seems as though the Bulgarians have decided to petition us for an alliance, stately firming, that they would like to assist us in a war against our enemies. <clears throat> While it would be helpful to take on the Bulgarians as allies, there could also be a potential hindrance, and accepting them may even weaken our, our international procedure. What do we say? We can do without them? Yes. Well, we'll take them anyways. Find out. We'll welcome people in if they want to join us. Uh, hold on. There you go. We have no manpower, but that's okay. As long as we're defending and winning, that's all that we really care about here. Nice. So not bad, especially if we throw all our soldiers over there. Um, as long as we're winning on defense. Especially in these really... Okay. Good luck with that. Oh, yeah. There's an entire Balkan League, too. Uh, that's not bad. Actually, that's actually really, really good. If they could take out the Balkan League right now and then focus on the Russians later on. Ooh, I saw Russia go to war. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, convoys. Forgot about that. Cool. Stop that, stop that. Uh, stop that, too. Mm, yeah. There you go. We'll try that. We're going to run out of fuel very quickly. Dreadnoughts. Throw them in the big one. That's fine. We need more, way more manpower. Wow, we have no political power, huh? So be it. Uh, America, as much as I want to trade with you, I'll probably trade with the Russian Republic if possible. There we go. Netherlands joined the Berlin Pact. Good. Very, very good. Now, they might try to naval invade us, but we'll see. Do they actually beat us at Verdun? No. Okay, I thought they did for some reason. Oh, you guys are over here, which is not bad. Von Manstein, but Heinz Guderian is really the guy I want to use here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we need some planes over there, too. Let's see. Wow. Uh, maybe we should pull our guys out of there, then. Yeah, that's that's really bad. We lost all those planes already. Woof. Oh, wait, do you have a light cruiser here? No, I don't think you should really have a light cruiser there, so. There you go. Any upgrades before... Oh, yeah. Torpedo cooldown? Yes, please. Oh, do both. Why not? Very nice. And Erich Raider? Yes. Yes. A chance to receive critical hits. Crisis Magician? Not bad. And I finished all my coffee, unfortunately. Chance to score critical hits. 10%. Go big guns. Go marksman. Safety first. Not bad. Now, that should really aid us with his stuff. Who cares? Join us. Improve cruiser holes. Uh, maybe get some of this stuff as well. Yeah, I like I like more cruisers. That'd be pretty nice. Any upgrades here? No. Well, technically yes, but no. It's almost 1940. There's no point upgrading that. But this one would be okay to upgrade since these guys are pretty good against subs. And put some front more torpedoes on it. There you go. Oh, nice anti-air two. Oh, that's not too bad. We can use these guys then. There you go. And we're done with that convoys. That'd be nice. And now we're not going to have any fuel. But that's alright. So I want these guys to attack us even more. So just going to hang out. You guys are pretty fast. So I'm not too worried about that. Alright. We really want to come into the war. So be it. No, they're already in the war. Huh. Yeah, everyone's already in. The Ottomans request debt restructuring. Ottoman diplomats in Berlin have informed our ministry, foreign ministry that they have canceled their loan payments to us. Instead of regular payments, they have offered to send us consumer goods as compensation for investments. It is clear that refusing this offer may result in a unilateral declaration of default by the Ottoman government. Shall we accept their offer? Sure. Why not? We get way more factories for now, which is good. So we're going to do boom, boom. But we're also going to do boom, ba, da. Boom, ba, da. Oh, what happened? To oh. We lost a convoy. That sucks. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more fuel, so... Russia, Russia, Russia... Oh. I can't get any more from Russia. Anywhere else? Yes, Persia. Way more fuel, please. Way, 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 way more fuel. Anyone else here? UK might not be bad, actually, to do as well. They're pretty darn close, so... And what takes up all the fuel? It receives zero. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely get some of these refineries done. Alright, I'm really disappointed that they're not attacking us. I mean, they have a lot more divisions than us. Would it be easy? Oh, they might be out of equipment. Maybe you can touch them and take out Verdun? Maybe? Break over the river, perhaps? Okay, who can't give me the fuel? <clears throat> Persia. America. 667. Six, eh. 
They're 23. They're, they're some of the closest ones we can get to, so. I'm pretty hungry, though. Nice, there you go. That's nice. Yeah, we definitely gotta improve ourselves here. Yeah, we definitely need more fuel. Holy crap. Oof. Anything about these guys? Expand. Kuwait might not be bad, but that's pretty far away. War propaganda. Well, they don't want to attack. And I don't think we can really win here without extra fuel, so... Oh, there goes Romania. Oh, if they become an Austrian puppet, that actually be really beneficial for us, then. Easy access to more fuel. Military armament, which is great. Anti-air uh, anti stuff. Organize the youth to get more population. Reinforce the Sigrid line. Yeah, why not? Even though we through we defeated the French twice now, they still remain a serious threat to our empire. By expanding our fortifications on our border with them, we can prevent them from breaking through in the plains of southern Germany. Not a bad idea. But right now, I want to focus more on fuel. I don't think we can win here. Yeah, that's just too much. Okay, so cool. So I'm going to expect that the Russians are going to attack us eventually. So, yeah. We have a massive fleet. Oh, uh, we should be able to hold relatively okay-like, especially if they go to war with these guys first. Now, that's not bad. I'm pretty nice right there. Oh, yeah, don't trade down here either. No trading through there. And Ottomans are going to die. At least we got rid of the vectors of the Velkrieg. Elastic defense would be very nice. Alright, so what's going on over there? That's not bad. Who's sucking up the most fuel? The Navy. It's just, they're sucking up so much fuel. Which I'm going to keep doing. I'm, I want to build our industry up as much as possible. So, oh, there they go. There you go. Wow. Keep building, keep building. Uh, radar? How are we doing with radar? Not much here, huh? It's alright. We can build two here. Good. Just keep building. We need way more factories for this, though. Russian Republic. Come on, guys. Please. Oh, yay. Good job. Uh, oh, Mashriki Kingdom. Yes, please. Reinforce the Siegfried Line. These guys are not bad. Get more compliance. Extend the Siegfried Line. Yeah, let's do that one. The plains of Flanders are excellent for an assault on our industrial area of the Ruhr. By extending the Siegfried Rhine from Metz to Ypres to offer even greater protection to our industries located in the Ruhr. And they'll probably do expand IG Fabin's budget or something like that. Something, something similar. Oh, look at this. We sunk three uh, fleets. Three subs, I mean. Oh, oh, that's not good. Um, <clears throat> well, we have no more fuel still. Okay, Russia. Seriously, bruh. Is Romania? Do they exist? Yeah. No, they don't exist. Actually, we get more from Austria-Hungary then, since they own that. Thank you. Anyone else? No. Wouldn't be worth it. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's grab some more defense, maybe. And after that, get some research speed as well. That'd be good. Lots of convoy. We found some French subbies. Little French subby chubbies. <clears throat> yeah, definitely get some of this. Improved computing machine would be nice. Very good. We got enough manpower for now. We get even more later on if we are smart about it. And, oh, there goes those guys. Austria Hungary right now is doing fairly okay. I kind of like what they're doing. What am I looking for? Guns. What can we do with guns? Other stuff. Motorized divisions. Oh, I don't like that one. Here's going to be like normal infantry, but fast. There you go. Take out that armor. Um, honestly, you guys, we don't, we're don't. we not going to put tanks on them, but we'll put this one on. Motorized recon, since we have a motorized anyways. And we're out of army XP. Go figure. There goes those guys. Not bad. We've got plenty of light tanks. Now we need some medium tanks. Honestly, it's not that bad for us right now. We're looking pretty good on pretty much everything. We could use a few more pieces of support equipment, though. Fighters are looking good. That's not too bad. We've got plenty of tanks as well. Uh, industrial land appropriation. Expand places. Ah, war economy would be very good to get. Yes. And make sure we're building this up all the time, too. There you go, nice. And go, go three, go three. Ooh, nice. Look another sub. We lost a kind of way, which sucks, but whatever. So we did that. Uh, reinforce the Ludendorff line. Oh, actually, that'd be pretty good to do as well. Yeah, just in case the Russians attack. The island of Cyprus is the home base of our Mittelmia Flotta. It is a vital refueling base for our ships heading towards our territories in East Asia. Kuwait is a strategically important base to maintain our oil imports from the Middle East. We're going to lose control of these important territories. We therefore have to build up our defenses within the territories. Very good. Which obviously I'm completely ignoring, but whatever. Uh, go up to 100 here. Thank you. And go right there. Thank you. Oh, are they actually attacking us again? Huh. I mean, they wanted to attack us, so this line is pretty much stagnant for now. 
I don't feel like... Oh, actually, we could justify these guys and go through these guys, maybe. Mm, maybe. But I don't really feel like attacking. I, w I just want to wait for the Russians. Knock out the Russians first. Oh, there they go. There we go. This is going to be very costly war. Let's go put you guys here first. Cool. Mm, war support would not be bad. You just need more, way more fuel. Wow. And maybe a little bit more rubber, too. Uh, it's 1940. Uh, get some of that. That would be good. Destroyers. Nice. Nice. Daily gain is 4,500. My street kingdom. What the heck? Guys. Anyone else? Persia? Oh, we're not going to have any... Oh, I'll just stop trading with them anyways for now. Anyone else? Five might... Yeah, Netherlands, maybe. Fuel refining is good. And yeah, can we do any rubber stuff, maybe? Yeah? Maybe? Good. I hope you boys are ready. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing they're not attacking at all. Like, guys, you wanted to go to war with us. You're not doing anything. That's fine. We'll, we'll focus more on tanks, too. I really, I, like I said, I just really want to focus on St. Petersburg and Russia. So, Cool. And let's go ahead and do reinforce the Ludendorff line. With another Russian civil war on the rise and a possible attack from the French in the west, our forces in the east might not be able to hold out any Russian onslaught. By fortifying our entire eastern border, we can hopefully defend ourselves better against the Russians. Which would be a good thing to do. Oh, we can develop stuff in Madagascar, but now we could modernize Ceylon, Cyprus. Eh, oh, I think it's best that we spend it on ourselves first. And okay, uh, oh we oh we have to have export focus. Okay, that sucks. We can't even get rid of that. Okay, fortification experts, economist, meh, backroom backstabbers. That's not really great. Rudolf Hess. Yeah, actually, we might want to get Rudolf Hess for more daily national populism support. So. But military staff organization not bad. Oh, we can't do offense. Traditional army tactics, which we chose not to do. We got that, which is good. Let's grab some more assault attack as well. Oh, we actually lost a convoy. We couldn't even sink anybody, huh? That sucks. We got that one done. German nuclear research for more research speed. Thank you. Can only get 3.7 thousand, I mean, every day. Yeah, the Navy needs it so much. Hmm. It's alright. You know what? That's all right. Unpaid Ottoman debts, cool. And keep making sure that we got another. Ooh, there goes those guys. Very good. Keep building, 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 building. Even the roads too, which will give us even more fuel in the future. Expand the rail yards. That'll be good, just so that we can build the roads and we can transport goods and people faster that way. And let's do some more propaganda against Algerian Socialist Republic. The French aren't a problem. The Algerians are the problem. Nice. Get some entrenchment too. The last defense will be good. Ah, oh, we got it done before they went to war with us. Good, 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 good. Let's see. That's only 12%. We might as well do that. Secure the Persian oil fields. We get a war goal against them, huh? Well, I would like this one. We could get more rubber. You get a free synthetic refinery. But let's do it. eliminate the opposition first. It's been too long. The opposition made by the SPD and the DVP have been delaying our reforms. Our struggle to unpopularize our regime. This is this has created waves of hate from part of our population. It is time we put an end to this nonsense. And our secret police will eliminate key members of those parties. Makes it easy. We just eliminate enemies enemies from opposite parties, right? Good. Mobile infantry. Blitzkrieg is okay to do, but I really need to get medium tanks. I really, really do. I'm, I'm so surprised that they're not attacking. Yeah, the Ludendorff line. Or, uh, uh, whoa, Austria-Hungary, what are you doing? Okay, you are very aggressive, this this game, Austria-Hungary. Very, very aggressive. Dualism revitalized, huh? Well, I did go that way, too, so. Wow. Good luck, guys. Nice, sunk a sub. Not much, but still a sub. Uh, what did they revive? We need some more of this. Just build these faster, 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 faster. Okay, Austria Hungary, what are you up to? Like, seriously. If the Russians go to war with you, you're kind of screwed. Wait, are they not going to war with us? Oh, I thought they had a aggression pact against us. Okay. Well then. Without the French attacking us, we're kind of doing okay, so. There you go. Alright, not bad. It's still 1940. We could grab some more radar. 
I think we're doing some of this stuff. We need to probably grab some maintenance companies. Get some anti-air, though. And we're just going to be focusing a lot on fuel. Just so much fuel. Synthetic refineries, of course. Boom. And then boom. Oh, they're attacking us just a, just a wee bit. We're doing more for actual fuel than, like, supplies. We're actually doing... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Garrisons. Throw on some armored groups. There you go. Do we have military police? Yes, we do, but we don't have enough army XP. Which we'll have right now. Beautiful. We lost some stability, but that's okay. All right. What do we have down here? Reinforce the Kaiser's power. Get more stability, war support, and let's justify war goals time. The Kaiser's leadership throughout his reign has been unquestionably excellent. His command of the Valkyrie and the years following it is a proof of that excellency. The title of German Kaiser must have a bigger role in the government, which I know I've already read earlier, but that's fine. Whatever. Um, anyone have upgrades? I mean, we haven't really been to... Oh, well, hot in China. Aren't you in war with Japan? No, yeah, that's a big China. Big old China. Maybe the Baltic roads for even more supply. That would be a good idea, probably. Uh-oh. So lost another sub, but sunk another sub. Lost a convoy, sunk a sub. Yeah, austria hungary you, you're kind of ex overextending yourselves right now. I'm really disappointed that the French, or the Germans... Well, actually, the Russians and French aren't attacking. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Could I bait them into attacking, like, Dunkirk, maybe? I kind of doubt it, but... Yeah, we'll have to do some naval invasion. We'll probably go through the, the channel... An attack over here, but we need more planes. We just need more fuel. Like, that's just the biggest thing. We're completely out of fuel. We can only get 4,000 a day. I think the best thing for us... We might just have to go to war with Russia. So they can start just grinding against our own lines. Uh, Alright. Zog submits. Cool. Dissolve the Reichstag. Might as well. This is the final step in assuming total control of Germany. Now that once we're close... We close the Reichstag, the power will be centralized in a Deutsch National Volkspartei. Nothing ever bad happened from that. Logistics would not be bad either, but let's grab this. There you go, finally. I remember to finally do it. So that'll be done. Nice. Let's grab some more radar, shall we? Yes, we shall. And boom. Uh, not much here. Planes? Oh, better planes out. That's good as well. Or propaganda's not doing too bad. We could probably use a little bit more of that, though. Yeah, they're just barely touching this little tile down here. Which is, I think, this one? Or is it that one? It might be up here. Yeah, France. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why they're not attacking. Oh! Okay. Well, they're attacking those guys now. If that's the case... Ooh. Oh, man, that's not good. That is really not good. They're actually crushing in there. Ooh. Hmm. Austria hungry, huh? Ukraine's not going to have that much fuel for a while. If we don't do anything now, this could be pretty bad. That would be a massive underbelly to us. We have to go to war with them. This way we can help offset some of the cost of the war for these guys. This is We got to do it. We got to go. To help relieve, put some... Put, oh boy, that's not good either. This is a gamble. If we if the Austro-Hungarians lose, then we, we kind of lose as well. So, yeah, it's not good. I mean, we're completely out of fuel, which is not good, but come on, Netherlands. There we go. Just give me what we asked for, guys. Yeah. We gotta do it like this. austria hungary won't be able to hold. We can hold the line here, apparently, but, you know, whatever. Let's not attack and see what they do. Now, do they do anything against us? No. Alright, could we attack here? I'm going to call it Oliver Allison. Are you not in the war? There they go. Now they're attacking us. There we go. Persia. Buddies. No, no. That sucks. That really sucks. Now we're in a two-front war. How great.
All right, so let's take a look. 58,000. That is a lot of losses. The Dono Adria Pact. Losing quite a few guys. Quite a few guys. Yeah, we can't afford the Ukrainians to lose, so. Oh, we're actually... Go in, boys. See what you can do. We have no air support at all, but hey. It is what it is. Okay, so you guys just stop what you're doing. Um, You actually still might be able to win here, though. But we were winning there for a slight moment. Help out, help out. We gotta get a Baku as fast as possible. Holy crud. Yep, there's definitely a lot of losses on. There's a lot of losses. Wow. Then again, it's Russia, so they got like not infinite manpower, but a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of manpower. Sink them convoys, boys. Um, proof working conditions. Military high command. Material designers. Speed's okay. We'll go with organization here, maybe. So we gotta find areas. Oh, actually, can we? They say we could win. I don't really trust them, though. It looks like we might be able to win up here, actually, though, so. I know I get support attacks and stuff, but I don't feel like it. Do you guys actually win here? Maybe? No? Yes? No? Ah, oh, there we go. We'll get more organization. Let's grab some mass motorization as well. Doesn't look like it, so hold. Oh, right here, you guys can definitely win, though. Alright, oh, they're looking like they're lacking supplies or something. Can you guys just go ahead, maybe? Can you guys go with them, maybe? Give it a few days to maybe try that out. New Bismarck. The B German people are calling Chancellor Oskar Hergt the New Bismarck. This is a massive victory for a glorious party. Our reforms are completed, and we shall be as glorious as the old Bismarck as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Eight subs go bye-bye. Convoys, convoys. Six subs go bye-bye. Good. Uh, they're still holding the line there. And, yeah, we're definitely helping out these guys, too. That's not too bad. Um, regarding the Russians, though, resistance suppression. That's interesting. I played as the Russians once... Resource-wise, I got plenty of fuel, which we would love to be able to grab away from them. Convoys go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Economist. Tradio modifier. National daddyism support. We're still getting that every day, so that'd be kind of a waste. War support would not be bad, but still. Chief of the Air Force. Oh, him and Gullring. Okay, maybe. Oh, let's do fighter stuff, maybe. Uh, yeah, Messer Schmidt. That's usually pretty good to do. How are we doing over here? Not bad, not bad. We're doing fairly okay. Alright, so you guys really aren't winning anymore. So I want you guys to all, like, hold. I thought you guys hold as well. We've lost probably quite a few guys. Ah, it's not that bad. And we're getting close to St. Petersburg. Nice. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here and start slowly encircling soldiers. There you go. I'm not even going to bother myself with the French front, so. Guys, I appreciate it. I know you want to kill them off, but you got to wait. Is there any infantry up there, too? That'd be nice. Sure, Ukraine, sure. Um, no, you're pretty much independent over there. Cool. That's good. Let's grab some better ones, which would not be bad. It's almost 1941. Let's grab some more construction speed. How are you not winning right here? Probably because we don't have air superiority. That's why. Radar's nice. We're going to grab even more fuel now, though. You should be able to win there. Yeah, that's fine. Come on through, guys. Nice. Come on. Go, 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 go. I don't care what it takes. Still looking good? Yep. We're still looking very good. Good. Yeah, fuel-wise, it, it's not good using armor without any fuel. <laughs> Who knew? Keep burning them roads. Good. Uh, okay. All right, then. Whatever. Lark Islands, not bad.
Go right there if you can. Yeah, these guys are looking like they're lacking quite a few supplies themselves, which is pretty good for us. Come on, break them, break them, break them. Got them. It's not that many divisions. It's only five, but hey, whatever. I'll still take it. All right, anything else over here? Region-wide integration. More war support against the French. That'd be good. Hey, look, convoy. Good. Let these guys starve. Uh, that's probably the best thing we can do about that. Oh, uh, actually, that's not too bad. Austria, Hungary, Colombia, oh, Persia. Let me suck on that fuel gain you got. There you go. Uh, are we missing anything? Besides probably planes, but even then, that's not too bad. Yeah, let them starve. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. And do that too. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. We might have a little bit of supply issues up here because, you know, it's, well, Russia. Yep, definitely getting this war was a good idea. And look at that. That sucks for them. They deserve it. Uh, yeah, using these guys is not a great idea, but, you know, we'll try our best. We shall try our best. Oh, new Bismarck. Great. More daily political power. War support. Love it. Expand the settlements. Ooh. Hmm. Up next, we shall do... Develop synthetic rubber. Germany's never been blessed with natural rubber reserves like many nations. If we were to fight in future wars, we can not let an embargo ruin our war effort. We must become self-sufficient. And we have some more carriers, which is going to ruin our fuel reserves, but that's okay. We only get 4,300 a day. Alright, not bad. Make sure everyone has at least, you know, a few planes here and there. Even though we have no fuel to use them, but that's okay. Good luck. Italy seeks to join the Berlin Pact. As the current upheavals in the international politics continue to reverberate throughout the world, the Italians have deemed us to be the greatest chance of surviving these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted into our alliance and so that we may weather the coming storm together. And whether we shall... I don't want to go to war with Austria right now, so we're better off without them. Yeah, I, I don't know why you'd even ask that. That literally makes no sense for our position, so... <laughs> we're literally trying to help the Austrians right now by beating up the enemies, so... Doesn't make any sense, but whatever! My apologies about that, but let's continue the little bit of carnage that we can hopefully inflict on our enemies. Uh, let's see, we've got some ooh, logistic issues for the Bulgarians, but that's okay. <clears throat> that's okay as long as the Bulgarians have logistic issues and we do not, right? Let's see if we can move on. Oh boy, yeah, you don't do that. You go down this way and go there. There you go. Much better, much better. Hope they can do well there, maybe, maybe not. We might just have to send our infantry to do the job then. Yep. Having tanks do stuff on this side, not too good. They're still not attacking over there, which is fine. Uh, yeah, overall. Oh, there goes. Oh, finally, they're killing each other. Nice. Uh, yeah, overall, eh, it's going not great. So let's pull you guys out, just because I think supplies are just not looking very good around here. And honestly, with us in the war and the Russians having to spread out their divisions, I think that would be okay. Oh, Austria Hungary. I kind of figured they'd do that eventually. Netherlands, shall we? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Mystery Kingdom, it's not much, but I'll take whatever we can grab from you. In addition, one, two, that's not enough. We need more, f more fuel. Cool. Even more fuel. Can only get 4,600, or 4,600 every day. Not bad. Penny incident? Oh, boy. All right, anything here? Yes, we're losing supplies, which is not very good. We have 1,800 pieces of support equipment, which is not bad. And let's throw all you guys in here. There you go. Good luck. You're going to need it. You might still be able to win, though. <clears throat> yeah, not great. Not bad. Just not great. Oh, actually, we don't need a hole right here, then. Um, there you go. Better. Concentrate your divisions a little bit better. And can we... Oh, we can't... Oh, we can't invest in the infrastructure here, too. There you go. Do that. All right. We got that one. Nice. We might try to get over here, too. Let our guys get a little bit more readjusted, let's say. I'm really disappointed that the French aren't really attacking at all, though. Oh, good. Let's go and do expand IG Fabian's day budget. Germany has also not been blessed with natural oil reserves. With how important oil is in the modern world, we must find a way to produce our own oil, which makes perfect sense. No, I'm not going to trade you that for nothing. 
Uh, Ukraine, you have a slight bit more fuel, sure. Yes, yes, grab some of this too. I don't even care about output. I just want more oil. 5.1 thousand, not bad. We might attack here next. It just depends how well the Austrians are doing against these guys. Because it looks like they're doing pretty darn well. And splitting up Russia between us two is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I think it'll be worth it in the end. I think it will be. Hopefully it will be. <laughs> if it's not, then it's not very good. Uh, can we attack here? We might be able to actually attack right here too. There we go. Good luck. I'd love to see. Uh, we'll do Blitz and Encirclement. I like Blitz and Encirclement. So we're not using cavalry anyways. How many guns the Russian Empire has? The Russian Republic, not the Empire. Yeah, we can't really see which kind of sucks, but whatever. They're still not attacking. Totally okay with me, though. Alright, there you go. Okay, this point. I mean, they're looking really not good. Not bad. Alright, anything else here? We could probably use some of this. War bonds would actually be quite nice as well to keep producing, producing, producing. Look at all that. Beautiful. So much production coming along. I mean, to be honest with you, like, it makes no sense. We have literally three divisions holding here. You have uh, over 20 just, just kind of sitting there. I don't know. But it was recommended that we play as Deutsch Middle Africa. Especially if we go down the Radical Socialist route, maybe. So maybe we'll try out that sometime. Maybe we, maybe we will. Actually, rubber. Oh, we're doing quite well in rubber. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, hold on. Um, nope. Not much else here. That's fine. Uh-oh, who's this? Oh crap, the UK, why? Oh, Democratic, you just want to fight me for what? For what reason? Well, we better go get through this war as fast as possible then. There you go. Go ahead, boys. There you go, boys. Go ahead. Mass motorization is good. Let's grab some mechanized offensives. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want to go to war with the UK. I don't know even why they would want to go to war with us. Yeah, we got to get some logistics companies too. Hmm. Can we actually get over there? Well, we could try it. Why not? Come on, Austria Hungary. I'm glad I sent these guys over here then. Because this will help us guard the coast then. That'll be good. Make sure we guard Wilhelmshaven and. Br oh, wait. Actually, the port's over there instead of over here. That's strange, but okay. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Uh, what are the casualties like? Uh, that's not bad. The French have barely done anything, though. Wow, the Austrians and the Ukrainians are really killing them. Wow. Uh, what the heck? Central Russia off of that. Is someone getting navally invaded? Austria. -Hung oh, Austria Hungary got invaded through Greece. Wow. Uh, I was definitely not expecting that. Nice. Expand the budget. Anything else around here? Yeah, factories would be nice. Economic boom would be really nice as well. Renewed spirit might not be bad. Organize the Prussian youth would be pretty good as well. But expand the bases, duh, plans, colonial bases, more compliance, Seychelles, Ceylon, the Fliegertruppe, which will probably go a separate loop off of it's nice and all, but it makes more sense to go down this way. Uh, there's anything, Warfare Academy, that's not bad, but that's only for a year. I'll do this one, why not? Renewed war spirit. The support for any kind of war by the German people has been very low since Weltkrieg. Our victory comes at such a high price that the people do not want to pay again. But now that, the, that, but now that our country has yet again involved in conflict, we should renew the spirit of war amongst the German people. Cool. Oh, hello. I see it now. I see where we did it. Or they did it, really. Just get that out of lawn over there, please. Good luck, good luck. Nice. But enable bombs, thank you, thank you. Well, yeah, we definitely could use some medium tanks. Um, there you go. Good luck. And there you go. 6,000 things of fuel every day, even though the Navy takes up so much of it. If that's the case, I'm going to tell you guys to go home. Don't even bother with that one. Go. 21,000 is needed every single day. But if they go home, that reduces the amount needed by 6,000 almost. That's quite insane, actually. That is quite insane. No, you can't do that. That's fine. You might be able to win there. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, you guys can definitely win here. It's only one division. There you go. Cool. Yeah, now it's two divisions. That's not good. Mm. Oh, the Americans are helping them out. Come on, America. So, it seems like... 
the Russians are only guarding against us. They're not guarding against the Austrians at all, it looks like. Or something like that. Oh, look, they got invaded over there, too. Oh, huh. Well, good luck, guys. Force it. Force them to die. Good. If we could take that port, that would actually be really, really beneficial. Especially before we win there. And, nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Oh, we lost 12 subs? Are you kidding me? What happened to other ships over here? Guys, guys. Nice job with that, though. Uh, I don't... Oh, yep. Yeah, oh, you're doing well over there, too. Send these guys back, just in case. Yeah, it seems like the Russians don't really want to fight these guys off too much. Oh, they're attacking us a little bit, though. That's kind of nice. Nothing over here, really. I'm focusing, focusing so much on fuel, it's not even funny. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we could definitely use my fuel. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. And the French refuse to do anything. Which, I don't understand. I just do not understand why. More fuel, more fuel, more fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Uh, we could probably do this one too, but... Uh, what do we want? Hmm. What's this one? Organize the Prussian youth. To solve our shortage of men in the field, we should organize a mighty Prussian youth. Not bad. Hey, what do we have here that we're making? Medium tanks? That makes sense. Region-wide integration. Let's help our guys out some more. Invest in Autobahns and White Ruthenia? Yes. Good. But seriously, like... They lost a lot of guys. Austria-Hungary, though, has lost even more. Ooh, we'll have to wait and see, though. Hmm. No, get rid of that. Come on. There you go. Oh, they're actually attacking us a little bit, huh? That's kind of strange. All right, then. Oh, well, these guys don't look very strong, but then again, neither are our soldiers as well. Yeah, our guys have, like, no organization. Holy cow. Nice, you actually won there. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, but you're actually defeated. Well, that sucks. Maybe you could attack here and help us push up the line just a little bit more. It'd be kind of nice. Oh, you actually, we're done. That's good. Alright, so you guys are actually over here. Not bad. Good. Should be able to beat him up. Very nice, very nice. And now, I was waiting to see if the words just completely escape my head. The UK would declare war on us. But it doesn't seem like they're going to war with us just yet. And actually, I did say I want logistic company, so... And that will help us save a little bit on fuel, which is pretty good. Alright, let's go back over here. Better artillery, thank you. Nice. Yep, let the Americans kill their own boys off. So be it. Whatever. Okay, they have only two divisions here. You should be able to win here, right? I know it's probably a marsh, and it's god-awful, but still. Uh, I, we're not sure how many divisions they have there. How about over here, though? Maybe? Maybe? Nice. Keep breaking them up. Do we have any upgrades? Skirmisher, winter expert? Eh, sure, why not? I don't always use it, but sometimes I do. Oh, yeah. If we can pierce those light tanks, that'd be very, very beneficial. Very good. Let's do Luga next. Cool. Alright, more political power. I love it. We currently get 1.26 every day, which is less than I thought we would get, but whatever. Organize the youth. So, here's what we're probably going to end up doing. I'm going to do a few of these focuses off screen. I'm going to play this a little bit more because this video has gone long enough. So, we'll play this a little bit more off screen and before the, the Russians collapse, of course. But just to push things a little bit ahead of time. But let's see. Let's go ahead and currently do together nuclear technology. Research into nuclear weapons. The day of cavalry and trench warfare are long gone. Now the age of nuclear weapons must commence. 
Additionally, we'll do Von Braun's research. Von Braun's research into rocket-based technology could have won us the future wars by stamping out any fight a country may have in them. By targeting specific parts of a country, we will be able to hinder their war efforts so they will be unable to compete with us. It is imperative that we give him the funding he needs to develop his idea into something real. Uh, with artillery modernization too. If we're to have an effective fighting force, we need to increase funding to our research on artillery. If our artillery is outdated, we will be unable to give effective battlefield support to our ground troops. Three year build up plan, uh, plan phase two. While we have started our planned economic program, it is nowhere near finished. If we have a lot more planned, it is time to implement them. About, and as well as we can do this one, build up the Deutsche Krieg Industrie. We must construct more military factories in order to build up our military and keep it fully supplied. And we need all the following, which means we can't do this one, which is unfortunate, but whatever. And we can do three-year build-up plan phase three. We have almost finished our economic plan. There are a few more plans we can put into action which will improve our industry even more, an economic boom. We finally reached our wanted objective. The economy is growing, the industry is flowing in equipment for civilians and war efforts, and the Kaiserreich is prospering just like the old days got mint oons. I think got mint oons, but okay. And maybe we will do... Support the Fliegertruppe. The Fliegertruppe. It was created at the end of the Valkyrie to support our forces in battle, providing close air support. The Fliegertruppe is still officially part of our army and should be kept or should keep its task of providing support for advancing units. Cool, but that's going to end it for us here today. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully have most of the Russian Empire conquered. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.